boys and girls. It's Miss Clark, and I'm here with another book for you. The book I chose today is called Water Sings Blue. It's a book of ocean poems, actually, by Kate Coons, illustrated by Nilo So. And I chose this one because it's almost summer, and um, one of the beautiful things I love about summer is going to the ocean. Um, we're so lucky to live in Maine and be so close to the ocean that we can go and visit when we get a chance. Um, and that makes this one of my favorite books. Plus, I just love um, hearing poems read and I love reading poems myself. So I hope you enjoy Water Sings Blue. Song of the Boat. Push away from the stillness of the nut brown land, from the road that leads to the shore. Push away from the town with its tight tree roots, from its closed brown shutters and doors. Push away, heave ho, from the heavy brown pier, from its pilings huddled and dull. For the water sings blue and the sky does too, and the sea lets you fly like a gull. How do you think you fly if you're on the sea? In a boat, yeah. Are you really flying like a gull? No, but you're kind of flying over the water. Seagulls. Seagulls remind me of beagles. All that they think of is food. Yet seagulls can soar through the sky the minute they get in the mood. And when seagulls take wing, they become a new thing, attaining some dignity. But beetles are round and remain on the ground, pretty much dignity free. Now a beetle is a dog, in case, a beagle, excuse me, is a dog, in case you didn't know that. And this one's called Sand's Story. We used to be rocks, we used to be stones. We stood proud as castles, altars, and thrones. Once we were massive, looming in rings, holding up temples and posing as kings. Now we grind and we grumble, humbled and grave, at the touch of our breaker and maker, the wave. This sort of tells about how the waves beat against the rocks and erode them into smaller pieces, which as they become smaller and smaller, it becomes the sand that's on the beach. <clears throat> This one's called Tide Pool Shopping. I'm going shopping at the tide pool. They carry everything there. Mussels by the bushel and three kinds of barnacle, starfish and gobies to spare. My mama gave me a shopping list. I know I can find what she likes. Blennies for pennies, beadlet anemones and urchins with lavender spikes. I'll bring it all home in a basket. Then mama can fix us a feast. Prawns by the dozens and octopus cousins, plus some kind of lobstery beast. Today I'm shopping at the tide pool. Maybe I'll see you there too. With your kitty wake pals and the oyster catcher gals, I'll save some limpets for you. Limpets are a kind of shell. And it's actually this bird that's doing the shopping in the tide pool because those are all things that the bird would eat. And this one over here says sea urchin. The sea urchin fell in love with a fork, with a tremble of purple spines. She told her mother, he's tall, not a ball, but just look at his wonderful times. That's just silly. <laughs> this one's called What the Waves Say. Shimmer and run, catch the sun. Ripple thin, catch the wind. Shift and splash, drift and dash, slow and gray, foggy day. Whisper, hush, murmur, shush. Swell and sigh, otter lullaby. Journey on with a yawn, swirl and swish. Play with fish, roll green, rise and lean, wake and roar and strike the shore. Beautiful language describing the different sounds that waves can make. On a quiet, still day, they would whisper and shush. On a windy, stormy day, they would roar.
This one's called Prayer of the Little Fish. Keep my gills and keep my fins. Keep me safe in the cool dark. Keep me from the hungry eyes of the swift and toothful shark. Find me tender plankton sweet. Help me swim with grace and care. And please, O oh Lord, protect me from the high, dry, breathless air. Fish do not want to be up in the air. They need to breathe in the water. This one's called Water Artist. I stroke water over water with my fan tail brush. I use my fins to stipple. I'm in no rush. Small currents ripple exactly as I planned. I'm a water artist. You wouldn't understand. The fish is using her tail to create designs in the water by moving her tail and moving the water. She's a water artist. This one's called Jellyfish Kitchen. The prim bell jar with ruffled rim my grandma used to cover cake has learned to swim. Where bunts once lay in sturdy rings, this dome conceals a frosted sting. And here they're saying that the jellyfish kind of looks like a cake their grandma used to make, except it contains a sting. This one's called Not Really Jelly. You're not really jelly. You're not really fish. Your free-floating noodles escaped from a dish. I'll slither and jiggle and tremble and squish. <laughs> that describes a jellyfish for sure. And this one's just called jellyfish. Deep water shimmers. A wind shape passes kimono trailing. That kind of poem is called a haiku. It's a Japanese style of poetry. Oh, this book goes this way. This page is called Blue Whale. Rolling your belly like a tide, sweeping the little fish aside, billow and swell of midnight blue, you're as grand as a planet passing through. Pretty big whale. Blue whale is the biggest mammal on earth. This one's called Shipwreck. Here lies the bones of 20 trees, lost far from home under gallons of seas. This one's called Oar Fish. Dragon doesn't hide her magic in a crooked mountain cave. She dwells down deep and deeper where the sea feels like a grave. If a lantern fish is near her and can shed a little light, You'll glimpse the mythic creature flowing by you in the night. With her silver undulation, 50 feet from tail to head, with her glorious and rippling crest of incantation red. Ooh, very descriptive. And this is the gulper eel. That's the green one. Black holes usually spin through space, lurking by planets and stars. But there's one in the gulper's gullet, stuck like a dollop of tar. He opens and opens and opens and opens and opens his jaw till the proudest fish has vanished in that astronomical maw. A maw is a word for a big, gaping mouth. Sea turtle. There's a wide green map on sea turtle's back. Currents? She knows their flows, never slows. Needn't stop for directions wherever she goes, flapping her elegant paddle-shaped toes. Octopus Ink. The famous author hesitates to pick his pen up. He is shy, but wait. He autographs the water with a single word, goodbye. The octopus shoots out ink when they're scared and they're trying to get away so they can hide. Coral. We are busy, we are growing. We don't care where you are going. We are cousins, we're a throng. We are wide and we are strong. We are reaching, stretching high. Pretty soon we'll own the sky. We are golden, we are pretty. We are coral, we are city. That's a city of coral under the seas. Shark, he circles and stares with a broken glass grin. His body's a dagger. He has lion's tongue skin. He slides through the water like a rumor, like a sneer. 
He's a quick twist of hunger. He's the color of fear. This one's called the nudibranch, and that's this little creature here. The nudibranch has dropped his clothes in a spot not even his slug mother knows. Another name for a nudibranch is a sea slug. This one's called Ocean Realty. My name's Frank Hermit. Here, take my card. So you want a house with a porch and yard? I have listings for periwinkles, whelks, and wentel traps, turbans, tops, and moon shells, and palatial conch, perhaps? That's one. That one's not available. I'm waiting for the snail to vacate his townhouse and put it up for sale. But this place has a deck and a nice view of the land. Beachfront property is always in demand. If you've read about hermit crabs, you know that they use other creatures' abandoned shells. And that's what this poem is about. Old Driftwood. Old Driftwood has been to sea and come back home unexpectedly. Gnarled sailor, now he sits high up on the beach beyond the tide telling of mermaids and whales this big to all the attentive, astonished twigs. Tide line. Ocean draws on the sand with trinkets of shell and stone, the way I write on the sidewalk with a stick of chalk at home. She signs her name in letters, long and wavy and clear, saying, don't forget me, I was here, was here, was here. And that is the end of our book of ocean poems. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.